Hi, my name is Nerdlen and today I'm playing Planet Zoo and this is exciting because I'm about to start my own franchise. So we're going to be able to build many different zoos in this franchise and it's going to be called Planet Nerdlen. So it is and we are going to be making some pretty nice zoos I hope. Beautiful. Okay, so franchise management. Okay. Let's check the badge. What sort of badge do we want? Eh, giraffe's kind of cute. Just go giraffe. Yeah, I mean, it does. And then the banner. Something just plain, I guess. Blue's kind of nice. Like this kind of like snake print. We'll go with blue. Okay. So, let's get into it. Start a new zoo. I'm going to go for like a... Hmm, what are we going to go for actually? Grassland in like Europe? Question mark? Or temperate in Europe? We'll go temperate in Europe. And zoo name is going to be Nerdlin Base. Okay, this is our first zoo, the Base Zoo. Let's get into it. Medium difficulty. And we'll just send this here. If you want to talk about anything, Planet Zoo. Drop me a comment, I promise I will reply to any and all comments that are put on this video. And if you want to see more videos or you think this is a good video, feel free to subscribe. That's the shameless plug right there. Okay, let's start with a little path, like so. Uh, maybe actually that's too long. Right, so people are going to come in to the zoo, have a little bit of a idea here of what I want to do so we just come in like this and we place let me see what do we place facilities we're gonna want small habitats one thing I have learned is small habitats are actually a very good way of making money I feel like it is not to be underestimated the amount of money that you can make off these is crazy. Now, I realize that that's a hell of a lot of budget, okay, that we used up, but don't worry, I do have a plan. This is probably gonna be a weird start for some people, um, but it's my start, right? We all make a start somewhere, okay? So let's start to edit this. Have a kind of a rough layout in my head of what I want this to look like and hopefully <laughs> hopefully the layout works okay so I feel like I want to make it out of concrete I feel like concrete's a nice sort of clean thing to use here yes so concrete is a fairly clean surface I think to work with um, any zoo that I've visited in my lifetime, I feel like I've seen a lot of concrete sort of um, buildings and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to use for this build. And we'll decorate this, we'll try and make this more pretty. Because in one of the last saves that I actually had for Planet Zoo, I noticed that my highest grossing exhibits were actually some of the small exhibits they weren't actually like habitats or animal habitats it was quite an interesting statistic i think like the tarantulas were given the best profit in the zoo so i, I kind of felt like that was a nice statistic to know that like you know i think i had, I had bison i had aardvarks I had lots of different animals and the highest grossing thing in the zoo was the exhibits so I'm going to invest money and just start off with exhibits I think they're a good way of getting on that ladder Um. okay so this is looking half okay now uh, let me actually get the paths the paths are finickety so um, let's align the path, we'll change the length to 1 and selecting the grid 
this is how oops this is how you get like a nice path okay so you want to sign the grid oh and the width needs to be one as well and we want to make sure we pick the right grid something like this okay now how beautiful is that and I don't I don't know if like this doorway is gonna be enough because I feel like possibly people might get stuck on the in here I think it's gonna be a very busy area but the idea is people are gonna come into the zoo and they're gonna walk into this walkway right maybe I should have made this building a bit wider because we are gonna be dealing with a lot of traffic here this could be a complete choke point for for us and um, if it is we will deal with that at some point right we'll not worry too hard about that so okay let's continue and editing I'm not gonna put a roof on here because it gets I'm gonna use the word finickety a lot but it, it does get kind of finickety <laughs> when you put a roof on it can be hard to place some stuff so yeah we'll see can we get like yeah this is what I'm looking so like we'll put a nice row of these here so you go there and something like well he's a bit taller than what I wanted like that uh, yeah place these all along here you know as I say we're going to wanna no, he's a bit small. We're gonna wanna kinda like approach this zoo build as like more like functional in terms of making money. Especially at the start. I'm more concerned about money than I am like you know, making a, the prettiest zoo in the world. Okay, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And I feel like zoos tend to have like this bright kind of color scheme going on like change these I think this is a good way of getting like a little bit of creativeness into the zoo easy easy peasy you know if you have any building tips for me if you actually are watching this and you manage to make it into the video like towards end and you feel like there's something I'm doing wrong or you, you have advice for me I am so happy to hear that advice because again I'm not an expert on this or anything I'm just I'm just a guy starting out you know um, okay I, it'll do you know it's <laughs> it's all it's okay um, right let's get editing the inside of this building so facilities first thing that we want to do is we want to place like this we want to have these little signposts here or they're like an educational board because that helps a lot and I suppose these videos are going to be like kind of like I want it to be methodical I don't want to like make tons and tons of rapid changes to the zoo because I feel like that's how you feel that's when you make a lot of changes without consideration I think that's when you tend to see like the profits plummeting like if you hire a load of staff willy nilly that you know that's something that's gonna hurt us so yeah I just want to take this nice and slow and relaxed because you know that's what really this game is you know I found I was playing a lot of action sort of games and stuff and it was not relaxing okay after like a long day at work sometimes a man or a woman or a person whatever way you identify uh, sometimes you just have to come home and relax which is absolutely fair <laughs> you know and what a way to do it no better way sometimes I feel than just relaxing with Planet Zoo. Planet Coaster was an awesome game too. I played it when it came out first. And I bought Planet 
zoom when it like relatively first launched and then my computer couldn't run it so that was like a sad day <laughs> and now we are back running it do these lights have a certain color scheme um oh yes yeah, so you can kind of set like a I feel like red is sort of color that you would see in indoors right something like that okay am I setting these to different shades of red and we're not going to worry too about if these aren't powered let me check if they're powered first of all uh, why, why are you not changing color wait are you okay so that's powered and that's not but that is okay because I have a plan for that also um, okay let's make these red it's kind of going to be an unorthodox start here okay because at the very end we're going to need to pull in together like the zookeeper hut and I feel like it might be a slow start but what I'm hoping is we're going to get this set up really really decently and it's it's gonna like bring in really good profit and the other thing about the exhibitions is what I didn't realize until like cool that's like a dart dart theater dart mall kind of vibe going on there with the red but one thing that is also good about these uh, ex exhibitions is right so they generate really decent profit but also, what's really cool, what is really cool, I forgot my train of thought, oh yeah, so if you have a male and a female, some of like the spiders reproduce really fast and like you can make thousands selling them on the exhibition trading, so that's a tip to keep in mind. So we're going to need to decorate this up a little bit. Let's do it. Okay, so what else do I want? I want these information boards also okay I feel like they will be handy so let's just go center of this doorway something like this okay and move you click the M key if anybody is watching this that's kind of like a zoo expert zoo plan a zoo expert if you see me doing anything the long way, like clicking these menus and you, you know shortcut, feel free to share that with me. I would appreciate that. Because it's nice to know. You know, it's nice to know the shortcuts. Uh, okay, so I've got this here. I feel like we can place some facilities out here, right? Some sneaky facilities that's gonna help us. So, guest facilities. Let's try to generate some profits by like having a little vending machine area out here. Yeah, and actually, let's make sure that we are editing this. That this is part of the the prefab as it is. Right, facilities. We'll have a little gulping machine. Place you there. Gulpy! And of course, Chief Beef like that chief beef okay and the information center I suppose we can probably attach the information center to this building to be fair I will do that in just a moment uh, 2000 okay right so we actually I don't know I may be getting slightly nervous here just saying uh, get rid of that path there and we can place an information center I actually hope I didn't cut this too fine you know um, in fact you know what I think our profits are going to be let me see I may have made a little mishap I'll see if I can take a loan out which wasn't ideal, you know. I think I, I spent I had too many of these. 
Okay, delete you back. Okay. We'll take two out of there for now. Okay, I know that's ugly. We'll take two of them out for now, and that should keep us in the green for now, right? I did. I, did, I made a mistake. I went a little too overboard there. Um, pilots. Well, you are gonna be like. Let me see. Pilots will be there. Okay, and. That path, get rid of that. We don't want that. Okay. Um, align the grid always. So we path this down like this and into the tile that that path should go. Okay. Forget that for one moment and let's edit here and finish off. The walls here so concrete it is and I guess the whole point of this video is just get this initial setup done and we it's a proof of concept okay we just want to see that we're, we are making <laughs> a profit which we should be yeah, 6,000 left to get this suit going it's doable okay I will leave the rooftop off this for now we have an information center let's pack the information center in as well just to house that away so concrete wall that's a low wall where's the normal wall here like that okay and we can actually roof off this like that and we'll roof the toilets off as well okay so people are coming in have our habitats now what do we need to actually run this? Okay. Guess we're gonna need a zookeeper place. Facilities. Now, do does this place needs more power? So what I like to do here, don't know if this is a strategy that people use, but I like to place my power grid as efficient as possible. So just place that like that. To where it like we're not overlapping too much so we're getting the most bang for our buck okay that's okay and i'm gonna do something a little silly here don't know like it's 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 gonna look a bit ugly for now but uh what do we actually need so a keeper hut something we're gonna need to get this off the ground okay and let me see place it there so let me explain before we go any further okay so this power grid okay obviously has a radius let's check the radius oops the heat map right so this power grid has this radius now what's going to happen with this is as we expand we can build outdoor habitats for our outdoor animals okay all around here in a circle and it means we're going to fit the power of the doors going into them and also the zookeeper is within a good radius so like it's quite a short distance he has to walk each time for the habitats but we will cross that when we come to it so not worried about making this pretty for now we have the keeper hut and let's you know what it's just time let's go are these powered or are we going for them? Yes, they are powered. Okay. Um, we need a actual another facility, Animal Trade Center. That's what we're going to need to get this off the ground. Animal Trade Center, like this. So this is going to be like all the staff area here, and as I say, the exhibits can be built around here. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird start. I don't really do my starts on need to balance functionality with like visual you know what I'm trying to say I'm sure you can <laughs> make a deduction from that okay exhibition market alrighty well this is kind of awkward we have <laughs> not very much on the market alright refresh we do okay 
with like a Brazilian salmon pink. I think this was the highest grossing spider actually or exhibit animal that I witnessed. And if we can get actually a really good fertile male, I think. What did I just buy? Was it a female I bought? No, it was a male. Right. Let's try and get a really good female. Because if we can get them reproducing quite good, then we can make a lot of money. Okay, so the most fertile we're going to have is 50%. We'll make that work. Okay. Let's reset the filters now. And like boa constrictor could be a good one. We only one apparently on the market. The common death eater. Okay. Let's try the common death eater. Death adder. Wow, my eyes. It's been a long day today. Okay, so we've 67 fertility here. And 83 male here. So let's adopt you two. Uh, where was the female? Okay, here. Right. Now, so that's two exhibits we're going to have full. Now the question is, do I want to take a loan out? No. You know what? I can answer that. If I take a loan out, it's just wasting money. So sell them two off, okay? And then we should be fit to close out what we're trying to do here. So let's go to exhibition trading again. We've got two common death eaters now. And we've got two Brazilian salmons. I'm thinking should we do two different habitats with the same species and see if we can just reproduce like mad? Hmm. Might be an idea, you know, but are the guests going to be happy with that? That's the question. I mean, look at this. Well, it doesn't have longevity, that spider, but... Hmm. Eastern brown snake. Okay, let's check. Giant desert <laughs> hairy scorpion. What a name. Giant desert hairy scorpion. So we have like a gold standard female here. And... Actually, pretty good male. So that would be a good fertility and reproduction opportunity. Okay, we'll take them too. And we'll refresh again. Here to see. Okay, Gila monsters. Should we check those guys out? Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Gila monsters here. Confirm. We've got a male with very longevity, good longevity, but not that great fertility. 50 fertility and 67 fertility. Uh, and I guess we'll go for that, right? We'll go for them too. Okay, so what's that? We How many different types do we have? We have four different facilities filled. So let's pick another two different species and get these facilities filled and then we can start bringing people into the zoo and hopefully this will generate enough profit for us that you know that's the whole point I feel like spiders are a great facility I think I think they're the ones that might do the best so right let's see what's what spider was that was it a Mexican something? Yeah, Mexican red knee tarantula. Um, these are going to be good for reproducing. We'll go for them. I feel like they might be the most exciting because the, there's no gold standard here, the little labels. But in terms of reproducing, they might do really well. And then the very last very last exhibit animal that we want. What is it? Something exciting. What's going to thrill our guests? I feel like 
Oh yeah, see this? The diamond rattlesnake. And it's a gold one. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at that. The western diamondback rattlesnake. Confirm. Okay. So really good longevity. And fertility is really good too. And... Okay, so... We actually don't have a really good meal for reproducing. But I mean, we can stick them in there anyways and see um, what happens. Okay, 200 dollars left. Let's just check one thing. Bins, okay. Like that, bin. And a bin. And you see something. Okay, let's fill this habitat up as quick as we can here. So we shall send the Western Diamond Rattlesnake. Send the zoo. There we go. And the next delivery will be the giant desert hairy scorpion type thing. And the next one, we will put the Brazilian Salmon Spider here. Okay. And actually, there's is that a glitch? Like, time is still ticking away. Even though, like, we have paused the game. We're still seeing periodical um, income coming out, outgoings. What I'm trying to say. Um, Let's do the ugly way here of path and sorry, ease off. Don't connect there, please. Go separately. Um This is gonna be just a little scuffed for now. Okay, I will fix these paths up thoroughly and actually <laughs> we can't afford a path here. This is doomed. Get that there and make sure that these are joined. Great, okay. That should be enough for now. Um, quick pause of the game. Just need to make sure that the temperatures are set. Yeah, that's okay. What's the temperature like on this? Okay, take down the humidity. Uh, this seems okay. And we'll just place the rest of these animals here get these exhibits up and going get this zoo started $46 will we go into the red I think we will I think we will most definitely what what I do there uh, animals I thought I messed that up there Okay, and before we go any further, let's make sure that there is information here on these animals. That'll help the guests donate more to us. Can this small exhibit keep us afloat? Can this make us enough profit to, to, to expand a zoo? We are counting on these six exhibits, okay? That's the Gila Monster. Gila Monster, just gonna double check these. Common Death Adder, because if these are wrong, it's gonna kind of hurt us. Beautiful. And the Western Diamond Rattlesnake. All looking good here. Just making sure we've done these. The hairy lad, yeah. <laughs> uh, like this. The pink Salmon, beautiful. And I'll just turn these guys on. And we're going to have amphibian extinction crisis there. And we will pick the bee population decline there. And ecotourism and climate change. Let's actually put climate change in the front one. That's a big one, isn't it? Big, big thing in the world. Climate change. Like that. And what's the next one? The bees. Is it? No. Let me see. 
poaching and the exotic pet trade because I feel like the a lot of these will be like exotic pets now that's our facility and have we done a challenge yes look at this beautiful adopt them place two different exhibit species claim the rewards for that let's put us back up to a thousand and let me just see facilities how about a couple of benches oops did I favorite that we'll place a couple of benches here if people want to take a little bit of a rest alrighty that is looking okay I guess let's play let's make sure the facilities are on point okay looking good right this guy wants more humidity Move that up there. And let's increase the humidity. Temperature here. Decrease the humidity. That should be the start of our zoo. Okay. That's looking good. And that is looking good. Beautiful. Just a little exhibition place. This information center is costing us money. Couldn't need actually the higher staff, right? We have a vendor. And guest keeper. You need to keep the zoo. Important things have been raised. Let's pause here because we've no vets to deal with ill animals. Okay, we've nothing ill yet, so we don't have to worry about that. Can I find an accessible staff room? There is staff waiting. Okay. I suppose that is a slight issue. Okay. So the toilets are here. How much is a staff room? Okay, a staff room is actually out of reach for now. I say we just we might not need a keeper all that much okay and then the rest of the notifications are just about silly things that we need all right and obviously our, our zoo is low in cash all right let's play this and see so <laughs> getting a good crowd here like 204 people in the zoo i'll take it all day long and there's a way here that we can play right explore mode ah oh, look at this let's go explore air zoo isn't that cool oh. hello everyone Right this way, boys and girls, and everyone in between. These are all welcome to Nerdland Base. Hmm, I feel like we need to make the pathways wider. What was that noise? He's having fun. This is going good. What way is the profits going? Seem to be going up. We're in the green. We're making profit. We have a visiting player, Seb the Chosen One. Say hello, click the button, say hello, and we'll give you conservation credits. Hello. Oh, so I got a reward for saying hello. You greeted the player and earned conservation credits. Nice. Ah, so he's visiting. That's sweet. Okay. So this is nice. We're taking off rightly here. How are the guest needs? Uh, let's have a wee look. So everyone's pretty green. Here's an orange guy. Okay, so he needs education, but to be fair, he's after coming out of the toilets. 
He's been sitting in them titles there too long. That's why he's not educated. Alright. So this is going good. I like it. Let's get out of this heat map. And this is great. We're in the 2000. Last year we spent minus 800. I mean, this is working. Right? I feel like this is going to be able to fuel our zoo a lot further. Okay? So you're coming in. This is great. And we'll do some decorations okay place down some trees what type of trees do we want beach trees like uh, horse chestnut trees right no they don't have horse chestnut do they just chestnut no just want like normal looking trees that you see in Ireland like beech tree oak surely they just have like an oak tree oh yeah look at this oak trees any taller sort of oak trees hmm kind of like just big fat oak trees aren't they hmm we'll see okay don't want it like hmm I don't know if I like the oak trees to be honest. Do I? I'm undecided. I don't like that they're so bushy and so sm like I feel like they're really small. Okay. Something like this. Place some oak down. Ah This is great. Like that. Kind of cover our pathway in a lot. But, you know what? It's nature, isn't it? Probably should change the shape of some of these, to be fair. Uh, the camera's really messed up. I feel like I'm going really slow. Uh, free luck standard. Is that better? Ah, that's better. Yeah. Right. Let's just change up the variety. Variety of trees that we see. Ah, these bigger ones are actually better, you know. I was using the small, dinky ones. Okay. Right. I feel like that's... Not bad. Path. Let's have a look at the pathway. Oh, there's litter. The dirty buggers. Railings? Do I want railings? Is there railing types, by the way? We get to pick what our railings look like. I don't think so. Okay. That's okay. Um, let's just make sure the railings are... Yeah, going good. Keep everyone happy. Oh yeah, I like the way it just rounds around the corner. Um, well, we kind of scuffed the bench there, didn't we? Okay, not to worry. Just move the benches. Yes, like this. Ah, oh, that's looking a bit better. And... Like that. Ah, oh, this is nice. Isn't it? I'm just going to slowly build up the zoo. Here. And enjoy the process. We're not going to look to rush it. We're not going to look to have like... You know, it's very tempting just to build, 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 build. And try to get money, money, money. But we're going to just go slow. Nice and slow. Okay, we've no security. We can fix that. There's nothing really critical here. Is there? The zoo's low in cash. We already knew about that. I think that's fine. We're turning profit. Right? 250 people here now. 
So that's pretty good. You know, like we're increasing the number. So the number of people that's coming is better. Information center. Um, let's build that staff room now. Yeah. Well, we have the chance. Uh, okay, facilities. Staff room. So we'll have a little staff room. Just sitting in there where we can let our staff go. Obviously. Let me just edit this building like that and add these paths. Then align the grid. Sorry, that's what we have to do. Pick the whole grid and make sure we're not applying railings this time. So take the railings off. Hmm. Why is this feeling a little scuffed? Oh dear. Uh oh. Right, so we've temporarily broke our zoo. There we go. Wait, the question is. Right, hang on. Let's just fix this path really quickly. Uh, path width six. Yeah, you see what could probably cause major damage here. <laughs> okay. Like that. Let me just go to path and take this width down. No, not that. Don't do that. Stop it! Just want to put a normal path. Oh, this is a bit finickety, if you ask me. So the path is hooking into something there, which is painful. Ah, why? Okay, can we move this, please? That's so painful. Some of this path finding stuff is crazy. Okay, paths. I need the path and fix this. That's obviously not the way to do it. I need the path. Find the full grid. Okay. I think we're back on track here now. Not happy with that path. Uh, okay. Ah, there. That's a better way of connecting it. And then just a one branch here. Okay. What are you guys doing out there? Should we make that staff path actually? Possibly. Path. Staff path. So they shouldn't use that anymore. And we can make sure that there's a rail in on the ground path. Ah, now that's good. That's looking pretty. Okay. Uh, can we get rail ins here? Let's just fix this as we go. Yes. Beautiful. And I see why there's no vendor there. <laughs> That's not connected. Take the ground path off. Okay. That should work now, right? Why is there no vendor? Let's check the staff. Sue. Staff. Vendor. Can you sign? Yes, we are at the information center now. Don't understand. Okay. Let me see. Oh lord, this broke again. Okay. 
It's so finickety. We, we'll figure that out. Anyways, I think that's a good place to end the episode off. Uh, I think we're in the profit zone. I think we're doing well. Uh, population has dipped off a little bit. But we'll try and fix that in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I will be uploading more. And if you want to talk about anything regarding Planet Zoo, feel free to drop me a comment. And I hope you have a nice day. You've been watching Nerdland and good luck.